Hello, welcome to tamsguitar.com. Today's topic is going to be a strumming pattern, a pretty simple one with a chord progression in the key of C major. So I'll show you the chart. You can pause the video and copy it and then we can start playing this. The pattern is written here and the chord progression is written below as you can see. You can pause the video and write it down. Then we'll get back to playing. Thank you. So let's start playing. Here the chord, uh, the strumming pattern is one, two. The three is missing. After the three, we are taking and and four and. Okay, so you are going to count it like this: one, two miss and four and one two miss and four and okay so as we already know all the ands are up strokes and the numbers and the misses are down strokes so let us do it by scratching one two miss and four and one two oh uh, sorry one two miss and four and one Uh, uh, I'm messing it up. Whatever. One, two, miss and four and. One, two, miss and four and. So it's a pretty simple one. You can take your time, rewind and see. And now we'll get back to playing the chord progression using C, G, E minor and F. So I'll play it pretty at a pretty slow tempo. So I'll play it four bars. Later on you can play along with this. another thing I would like to explain is how to change the chords at ease so obviously C to G shift is a bit tough anyways I think you got the strumming pattern now let us analyze the C to G shift C when you are changing from one chord to another don't move your fingers too far away from the fretboard and always target the note on the 6th string, 5th string, the lower register of the guitar. Yeah. Then the, yeah. the fingers will come on the higher register. So what I mean is we'll have to target the 6th string first from C. C minimum movement. And when you are playing a C major chord, this 4th finger is of no use. So there is no point in keeping it like this. You just keep it like this. It should stay close to the fourth, third finger. In fact, it should stick to the third finger so that whenever it's required, it can come easily. See, in the G chord, we need the third and the fourth finger. So you bring the, your focus should be on the second finger. You bring it on the sixth string and move the third finger downwards so the fourth finger is moving along with the third finger as it is stuck to the third finger so look at it carefully minimum movement and it takes some time 
so don't worry it will happen so the next movement is from G to E minor this is pretty simple so here the lowest note here is on the fifth string second fret so again the second finger should move and from E minor to F see again the third finger and the fourth finger will come into action all you need to do is move the third finger to the I'm not holding a bar chord okay so you move the third finger to the fifth string third fret and take the remaining finger see the th fourth finger will move along with the third finger so practice this movement and when you are playing the F major chord from F major chord C is pretty simple see already most of the fingers are in place all you need to do is lift the fourth finger and bring the third finger here so that's it I hope this video is useful to you people happy strumming and once again if you have haven't paused the video this is the final part see you next time if you have any queries regarding rhythm guitar or anything related to guitar feel free to ask me and don't forget to subscribe comment or like see you next time bye